I'm Charlotte Davenport. I live in Woodstock, Vermont, on a beautiful piece of land that happens to have lots of art on it now. My husband and I have been on an adventure of having a sculpture on the land here for over 35 years. Recently, those years are bringing great memories, but also a lot of new ideas based on environmental materials, environmentally friendly changes on the land here, and less, uh, I would call, decorative art. Responsive art that responds to light and teaches you things about where you're wandering, and also good materials that can't hurt anything on the earth uh, as they fade away into the ground, possibly. And we avoid materials that might leave things that aren't good for the planet. Well, I happen to be on the board of my Council of the Arts, and they had very few grants for things like that. Every two years, there were two painters a year, and they would get grants, and two sculptors. And everybody who was coming here and doing art and all the wonderful things you can do in a state like Vermont, uh, is spending a lot of time writing the grant, getting very little money. And there were very few places, I can't, I, I think there was just one place that I'm aware of where they sold art. So rather than helping raise money by cooking dinners and having parties, we decided, even though we had children and we had four or five horses at that time, that we should have artists build work here, right on this land. And there were places from afar that inspired me, including Storm King in New York State and other smaller places at museums where you could go and see art outside. And we'd also been in Europe, and in many parts of Europe, most of the sculpture is outside, and very exciting to see in all different cultures. How many artists do you have on the property? Right now, probably 28 or 30, I think. Um, but we keep work for two years, usually, and it moves on. And COVID threw that off a bit, so we are now back to a rather basic, most of the work here, and unless it's permanent, has been here for two years and is probably leaving this fall. We're going to be having young people here soon who will be designing uh, environmentally sensitive art for this land and for, for a pathway across from this land towards the uh, land trust property. And I'm very excited about it and I'm excited remembering what it was like one of the first artists who came here, um, he came and he just said, I want to make sculpture. And at that time, he was building walls and his work was really as a stone builder. Hector Santos, who has been part of this community as long as we have, we came here in 1961. Uh, I think he was here as a child around that, or at least in Vermont. And over the years, we became friends because he's also an artist and I was a, an artist showing in galleries, not making work on the land. We're open all the time, dawn to dusk, no charge, don't have to make appointments if people park properly on the opposite side of the road. And also, um, people come and have picnics here, they ski here, they walk around on their snowshoes. So it's not just a sculpture park, it's, it's an open area, as is all of Vermont. But, but you know what? Part of it is that I care so much about it, I, get, I start going, oh, yes, this is so exciting, but I don't say that.